Now we're joined by Dr. Diko Marurada, uh, Director General and Chief Executive Officer of Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency of Nigeria. Thank you so much for uh, joining us on Newsnight. Well, apparently this survey covered uh, 2020, and like we heard in that report, it's supposed to happen every uh, three years. Tell us exactly how important this survey is. What exactly is the objective? And uh, has the objective even been uh, achieved? Yeah, thank you very much uh, for having me. I think uh, this is a very, very important segment of our activity as an agency. We are saddled with responsibilities of the growth and development of MSMEs in Nigeria. So conducting the survey will enable us to have data. And this data that we'll get, it will enable the government to formulate policies, design programs and policies that will have an impact on the nano, macro, small and medium enterprises in the country. So it is very important because most of the problems that we are having in this country is lack of data that can be useful for so many activities this not only nationally but internationally even the development partners that are coming into nigeria who are intervening seriously mm. in the area of msme development needs to have data so this data will help them to develop whatever policy and program and intervention the government want to intervene it will be much easier and better and this will be used by the federal government state and local government as well as well as other non-governmental activities uh, non non-governmental mm. organizations who are intervening in the msme ecosystem okay that's uh, great uh, but the disheartening thing uh, the you know weakening of the smidan the small scale the nano entrepreneurs and the rest mm. which we know is the backbone of any, of any nation's economy, economy. Uh, losing that much 3.5 percent drop and the rest because of insecurity because of the pandemic and the rest and you now ask the question where has been the intervention of the central bank of nigeria what collaborative efforts do you have with uh, some institutions like uh, boi uh, bank of agriculture firo for example the federal Institute of Industrial Research in Oshodi. Tell us. I think, uh, uh, first of all, I would like to say that uh, the collaboration activities between uh, our agency and major players in the economic aspect of this country has greatly increased. Because when I first came into the agency, what I realized was there is lack of collaboration and synergy between agencies of government. But there is a lot of improvement now as a result of intervention, and you are aware of the fact that we have the National MSME Council, which is being chaired by the Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, and that uh, uh, that National Council on MSME has all the major players, both public and private, in the council, which enables it to have a necessary synergy, and it helps to increase a lot of synergy between the agencies of government. But uh, I think uh, even though it is disheartening that uh, we had a reduction in the number of MSMEs, and greatly the number of MSMEs that reduce are nano and micro, and uh, we have seen a slight increase in the number of small and medium enterprises. Because before, before in 2017 survey, the macro enterprises represent 99.8% of the total MSME in the, we have in the country. But this uh, result of 2020 uh, survey indicates that we had 96% uh, of the MSMEs fall into nano and macro and then there is an increase in small and medium enterprises which rise to 3.1 percent of the total number and that was the reason why we had an increase in the number of employees that the msmes provide in 2017 msmes provide 59.6 percent of the total employment labor force of the country okay. and now in 2020 it reveals that we had over 61 million people who were employed by MSMEs and largely is because of the increase in the small and medium enterprises. And you can ask me what causes the increase exactly. in the sizes of the small and medium enterprises because mm -hmm. most of the federal government intervention as a result of COVID-19, which include COVID loan provided by the CVN, National Macro Finance Intervention, and the intervention through economic sustainability plan headed by the vice president 
which provided 75 billion for MSME survival fund, those intervention mostly goes to small and medium businesses. And since they have gotten this intervention, it helps them also to increase the number of employees and to expand their scope of activities. And then it helps to generate a lot of activities in the in the economy. But there is an increase in the decrease in the nominal GDP, which was uh, 49 yeah. to 46 percent now, and that was as a result because we, we, there there was a lockdown, there was no movements, and this lockdown and lack of movement within the space it has also contributed in reducing the gross domestic product contributed by MSMEs in the country. Yeah. So I think uh, okay. it is a one is a, is a is a win win situation. There are some places where we are not too happy of what has happened, but we were happy that we have gotten more employees. Okay. How many people have gotten job through MSMEs? Help us, uh, uh, you know, clarify those areas where you're not seeing exactly what you want to see and. What recommendations do you have for government to improve these figures the next time you carry out this survey? Uh, I, I think that the only thing is uh, uh, the federal government, whenever, or any government that we have within the state and local governments and the federal government as well, the intervention should target nano and macro, macro, macro businesses because most of, those, uh, uh, most of the decrease is on nano and macro businesses. And because the, most of the intervention are targeted towards uh, small, small and medium and enterprises, but the most people who needed more intervention, who needed more support to survive in the space are the nano, nano and macro finance. So that is why most of the programs are conducted by Smedan. We are targeting more nano and more micro uh, businesses because the small and medium businesses, they don't need us as much as how the micro and nano businesses needed us. Okay, very quickly. Is that why you want to set up a microfinance bank? Yes, because most of the challenges uh, on the, in the area of access to finance are being faced by the nano and macro businesses because small and medium businesses has what it takes to get a loan from any financial institutions. Yeah. Thank okay. you so, so very much. Dr. Tiko Umaru Lada, Director General, Small Medium Enterprises Development Agency of Nigeria, for coming to share your thoughts on Newsnight. All right, thank you, thank you so much.